Okay, now we're going to look at factorizing by grouping. Factorizing by grouping. Okay, so let's take a look at this. And you've got 2x squared plus 2x, and you've got 3x plus 3. And what you do is you kind of group these two together here, and you look, what's common to both of these? Well, 2 is in both, and x is in both. So 2x times x gives me 2x squared. 2x times 1 gives me 2x. So we just do a common factor here. Now I see 3 and 3 here in both. 3 times x plus 1. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 is the common factor for these two terms. Now if you look at these two terms here, I can see that x plus 1 is common. It's in both. So I write it down once, x plus 1. And I write the other parts, the 2x and the 3 down here, and it works perfectly. x plus 1 times 2x gives me this part. x plus 1 times 3 gives me this part. We say x plus 1 is the common factor to these two new terms. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Well, the 7x and the 14y, I can see 7s in both of these, so I go 7 times x plus y. And here I see b is in both of these. So I go b times x plus y. And the way they make these questions work is if you've done it right, you look at it and you go, oh, look, there's the x plus y. It's common to both. So you can put it right there. x plus y times 7. x plus y times b. You can put 7 and b, the other two parts you put there. x plus y is common to the new terms. Then we have a whole bunch of questions. Well, nine questions, 10 questions for you to practice this thing. Um, you need to practice. So uh, there's a memo with it as well. But hopefully you can do it. Looking at this video and doing your best. 